I have another flashlight I want to share with you today. This time it is the Astrolux FT-03, a high value, powerful throwing flashlight. If you're interested, keep watching. All right, just before we begin, I want to thank the company Banggood for reaching out to me and offering to send this flashlight to me so that I could share it with you. All right, as always, we'll go down to the tabletop where I'll go over the key features for this flashlight. I'll go over its physical and performance specification and its modes of operation. And then, of course, we'll get outside and do some testing. Just before we look at the details for the Astrolux FT-03, I thought I'd show you what it came with. So this is the box the flashlight arrived in. Nice, simple cardboard box. Inside are a few items. One of the most important, of course, is the manual and warranty information. I'll mention this again in a moment. A battery tube adapter, not something you see on a lot of flashlights. I'll explain that as well. Good quality lanyard and a pair of o-rings all right let me just put those things aside i said i'd mention the manual so what's important about this is even though it is well detailed tells you all you all the things you need to know to operate your flashlight it's not for this flashlight in fact it's for a different model of astrolux ft03 there are in fact two models that i'm aware of but the, and the difference between the two of them is that they have different LEDs and as a result have different performance specifications. The model I have comes in at 4300 lumens on turbo, whereas the model that's referenced in the manual only comes in at 2300 lumens. I say only, that's still quite a, quite a bright light, of course. And that's, that there is a difference. However, the everything else about the two flashlights is identical. So all the operating modes and everything else are identical between the lights. And though I was a little concerned about that when the manual arrived, I went to the Astrolux website and they explained that that's their thing. They just have the one manual. It applies to both lights. The difference being that the LED produces different brightnesses. All right, so that's one thing. The other one is the... A battery tube adapter or a battery adapter tube. So the flashlight, as I'll show you in a minute, comes equipped with a 26 650 5000 milliamp rechargeable lithium ion battery, but it can also use a 21700 and an 18650 battery. So, in order to use the 18650, you do need to use this adapter to keep it from moving around inside the tube of the flashlight itself. All right, so let's bring this back in. Well, actually, before I bring the flashlight back in, I mentioned that there are two chips or two LEDs, they each have different colors as well. So on the corner of the box, you're going to see that there are four things that could have been checked off, but the flashlight that came in this box comes with the XP50.2 rated at 6500K, which is a bright whitish bluish light. And that's I say that only for the reason of making sure that when your flashlight arrives, it's the one you actually wanted and paid for. And the other thing, of course, is it's some of the flashlights on Banggood's website don't come with a battery. So make sure that if you're looking to have the battery come with the flashlight that you find the one that has that with it okay flashlight brought back in let's go over the key features for this flashlight as i mentioned it does come equipped with an xhp 50.2 led which is rated at 4300 lumens on turbo and a 6500k with a cast of 735 meters. And when you get it outside, you'll see just how much of a searchlight this actually could be used for. It also has a type C USB type C charging port underneath that silicone cover right here. Really quite nice and good thick cover on it. Uh, it should keep on water and moisture and dust out. One thing to note is that, well, two things to note. One is there is no replacement silicone piece. I'm not sure if you can purchase one separately or not. So if don't, make sure you don't lose that. The other thing is this flashlight did not come with a USB Type-C charging cable as a cost saving measure. I'm okay with that because I have more than enough of those types of cables around the house. It has two operating modes. The default mode, which is what I am going to de demonstrate, is a uh, infinity type mode, or a, a default. It automatically rolls, rises, and lowers, so it doesn't have fixed steps when you press the button. 
However, you can, through a series of steps, change the operating mode and get quite a bit more versatility out of it. If you're looking for those fixed steps such as moon, low, medium, high, you can get that from this flashlight as well. Having played or having tested and used this flashlight, I actually prefer the default mode of Infinity. I'll explain how that operates and why I like it as we go along. So as I mentioned, you can use the 26650 battery, the 21700, and the 18650 batteries. Let me show you the 26650 battery because it is quite big. It's the biggest of all the flashlight batteries that I have so far. This is also, just to let you know, it is an unprotected battery. It doesn't have the circuitry uh, that other batteries may have in it, but that's also what is recommended for use by Astrolux. Now, I'm not going to take it all apart, but you should know that this flashlight does come apart in two places, so you can actually remove the whole tube, put the flashlight battery back in. While I have it off, you can see it is spring-loaded on this end as well as the other end, so you get a little extra shock absorbed by having springs on both ends. Take a look at that reflector. I'll try not to glare you out. Look how deep that is, how clear the glass is, and how polished the reflector is. It is because of that that you get that long cast of 735 meters, but I'll tell you, you do also get a quite a wide flood on either side of a central hotspot. So it is a, I think it makes a great, maybe not a high-end searchlight, but for most of uses that, certainly any uses that I'm going to be putting this for, this provides all the cast and all the flood that you can possibly want from a flashlight. So it is an anti-reflective coating on it. It is a, a high quality glass lens on it. The body itself has an aluminum alloy with a type 3 hard anodized coating. So in that way, this is identical to other flashlights of other manufacturers costing much more. All right, let's go over the physical specifications for the FT-03. So the weight comes in with the battery installed at 14 ounces even, which is 398 grams. The overall length from tip to end is 6.7 inches or 170 millimeters. The head diameter is 2.7 inches, which is 69.5 millimeters. And the body diameter is 1.36 inches, which is 34 0.5 millimeters. All right, let's go over the performance specifications for the FT-03. So it does have a max output of 4,300 lumens, and that is on turbo. It has an intensity of 133,000 candelas, giving it a range of 735 meters. It has rated at an IPX7. I will tell you that Astrolux say not to immerse this in water. I've been a little concerned about that. I looked it up to see what an IPX7 actually means, and it does mean that you can immerse it or it can withstand being immersed under one meter of water for 30 minutes before water starts to get into it. So uh, I, I would go, of course, with what Astrolux has to say, but I would think that you are perfectly safe from dropping this in a puddle or uh, having it rained on or otherwise getting wet without any concerns that the water is going to get into it. It also has an impact resistance of 1.5 meters. So very much the industry standard for these lights. So just before we go into the modes of operation for the FT-03, I thought I'd give you a few close-ups. Maybe you talk about a few of the features of the body of the light itself. So let's start at the tail end. You can see here is where the lanyard is attached. Give you some options there. It will stand upright on that end as well, so which is also a benefit. It does have the great body knurling here, heat dissipation fins here, nice Type 3 anodized aluminum finish on the outside. I can see no differences in the quality of the construction of this flashlight from any of the other name brand flashlights. It just speaks quality to me. It does have a green light in the on off switch, which will stay green. And I can see no way of turning that off. But to be honest, it it's doesn't really attract my attention all that much. And it will stay green until such time as the battery is so low that it needs to be recharged will flash red. If you plug your cable in while it's charging, that battery will remain red and then it will turn green when it is fully charged. What I wanted to point out though is you can see the 
button is actually recessed into this U-shaped area on the flashlight, making it very easy to find in the dark without having to look at the flashlight. And I'll show you my way of using this in a few minutes time because it's a little bit different from I think what's traditional, which would be like this. All right, let's go into the modes of operation. So as I mentioned when we opened up, this flashlight comes with two distinct operating systems. The default system is known as smooth ramping, which will take you down or or take you from the lowest lumen setting right up to 2100 lumens by a simply pressing and holding down on the on off switch. The other operating system is more conventional in the set that you are in the sense that you can set predefined modes of, of lighting all the way up through. I'm not going to demonstrate that because it is somewhat of a complex sequence to get through to that and it is well described in the user manual and to be honest I like the default setting just the way it is. I like that smooth ramp so in order to operate this flashlight, you do start by just pressing and holding on the button. Let's see if I can demonstrate this. And it'll go from the lowest light right up to the highest light. It'll flash and uh, twice to tell you you're there. So you can see it flashing twice very quickly and you know you're all the way up. Hold the button again and it'll go all the way down to the lowest. I gotta get into a position where you can see it. So there is moonlight reflected on the table, very, very low. They don't actually say what moonlight is, but I expect it looks like it's a one lumen range. So, you know, you can pretty much say it's infinite from zero all the way up to 2,500 lumens. You saw that quick two flashes. Let me take it down somewhere in the middle. Okay, so if I turn it off and turn it on, it has memory for the last setting as well. Now to access turbo, you can do it either from off or on, quick, two quick presses, and that takes you into turbo. You can see how my camera is compensating for the increased brightness. Turn it off, if you turn it on again, it's gonna come back to whatever it was, it was the lumen setting before you use the turbo mode. So the FT-03 has two more functions that are built into the default setting uh, that I find are quite useful. And the first is momentary mode. Now, unlike tactical flashlights, which are usually accessed the momentary mode by pressing on a button on the end, the momentary mode for this light is accessed through the on off switch, but you do have to set the flashlight into that mode. In order to do so, you press on the on off switch five times, one, two, three, four, five, the light flashes a few times to let you know you're there. Now when you press in the button, the light will only stay illuminated for as long as your, butt, your finger is on the switch. When you let go, the light turns off. Quite a nice feature for doing search uh, so you don't have to worry about turning the light on and off. You just access it, let go. Now if you want to disable that momentary, you have to unscrew the battery cap, screw it back on, the light flashed and now it tells me that it's back in normal operation. So if I press the button again, it comes on at the lowest setting and I can work my way up. It will stop there and turn it off. So the other feature which is very useful, especially if you're gonna be putting this in a holster or in a backpack or in some other carry uh, venue is that you have the ability to electronically lock out the battery so you don't accidentally turn the flashlight on. In order to do an electric lockout with this light, you press on the on off switch four times. One, two, three, four. And the light flashed to let me know that it's turned off. Now I can press the button and the light doesn't turn on. To turn the bat light or to disable the lockout, press again four times. One, two, three, four. The light flashed and it lets me know that it's back in operation. And you can see it was back at the last lumen setting I used before I locked it out. You could, of course, always just unscrew the tail cap, which is recommended for long-term storage. By doing that, you'll also turn off the green light if you want to save battery, although it would take forever for that little LED to wear this battery down. Having gone over the physical and performance specifications for the FT-03, as well as its modes of operation, there's only one thing left to do, which is to get outside and do some testing. So what I thought I would do for testing the uh, Astrolux FT-03 is rather than go to the woods where I would normally go, I came to a local sports field not far from my home. Uh, reason being is I didn't feel that the woods would show off how much of a thrower this flashlight is. Uh, they're just too dense with trees. So the field I'm in, I'm going to turn the light on at its lowest right here. That may show up in the flashlight. I'm not sure. It's not casting out very far here. Uh, but 
Let me bring it up to high. So showing off the tree line at about 150, 200 meters and the fence along the tree line there. Apartment building behind it is about 450 meters. Let's uh, bring it up to turbo. Clearly lights up that building, probably uh, annoying the people inside the building. But this light with that central hotspot and wide flood, I can scan the whole field, pick up anything, everything. Incredible amount of light from this flashlight. I read a few closing comments for the Astrolux FT03 flashlight. Let's do some pros and cons. So on the plus side for this flashlight, as you saw when we got outside and did the testing, the beam of this flashlight will reach out a long way with a very nice tight central white light in the center that reaches out 735 meters, yet is still surrounded by a well-defined floodlight on either side. So it does make a great searchlight. And I think that's one of the key features for this flashlight, of course. The other thing I like about this is the fact that I can find that on off button very easily and operate it. And I mentioned I'd show you how I do that. So the traditional way for operating a flashlight like this is usually with your thumb. I find that I can operate it with my either my index or my next finger in center finger, either holding the light up like this or when I'm holding it up down by my waist, I'm using it upside down. Again, I'm still using that same finger. It finds the button very easily and it's very comfortable to carry like that for a long periods of time. So those are a couple of the pluses for this light. Now, there are a few cons and these are relative in terms of they're not deal breakers. They're just something I thought I would make you aware of. First off, the literature provides no run times for this light. So we do know that it has a turbo of 4,300 lumens, but the literature does not say how long it will run at that intensity. So to be honest, I don't know that that's uh, the end of the world because with the battery of that size, I doubt that I'll ever run it down to zero. I'm likely gonna recharge it before it gets to that point, but it is something that should be present in the literature. Uh, the other thing is there are no lumen settings mentioned. Now we know that there is 4,300 lumens on turbo, and we know that the low setting is approximately one lumen. I say approximate because I'm comparing that against other lights that I know are about one lumen, but we don't know what the high is before you step up to turbo. What the literature does say are flashlights in this design operate at 50% of the uh, turbo setting when they're in high. So we can take from that that the high setting is about 2150 lumens. Again, something that should be in the manual. The only other thing that I can say that is a of negative for this, and this is very personal, is that little manual, while it's well laid out and well detailed, the print on that is so small, I had trouble reading it. In order to get around that, I went to the Astrolux website, downloaded the manual, and then I can enlarge it and look at it on the computer and read it just fine. So those are the pros and cons for this flashlight. And I guess what I can say in summing this uh, video up is, having now tested out a brand that I had never heard of before, let alone had any experience with, I'd be in favor of testing more from this brand. This Astrolux flashlight, low price, high quality. It's on par with any of the other better name brand, uh, brand name flashlights. It has some unique features the others certainly don't. It may have a few things missing from it that the others have, but nothing that would make it worth that much more to buy the other flashlights. So once again, this is really a truly a good value in flashlights. There's a good chance that Banggood will send me some more if I request them, and I think I likely will. So yeah, I, now what I'll do is of course, is I'll be putting all the information that I do have for this flashlight, including the links to where you can purchase it in the video description below. But I'd also like to do is open up to you and ask for your comments and suggestions on this light or any other lights that I have or ones that you think you would like to see me test. Please put those in the comments section below. All right, that's all I have to offer you in this video. Get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.